finding a niche. Within a community, every species has a particular niche. A species niche defines how a species fits into an environment. It includes its way of getting food, the habitat it needs, and the role it performs in the community. Texas's diverse aquatic environments provide many different niches. Flathead catfish, for example, can live in the same reservoir with gizzard shad because they don't compete for the same niche. Gizzard shad eat plankton and they spawn over gravel and grass, broadcasting their eggs which sink and adhere to various kinds of underwater substrates. When the flathead catfish is small, they eat invertebrates, such as worms, insects, and crayfish. And once the flatheads grow large enough, they begin to prey on live fish. They spawn in sheltered areas on the lake bottom, such as cavities and logs, undercut banks, and, and in rocks. Flathead catfish males guard their eggs. Once hatched, the fry remain on the nest for a week and still guard by the male. And then the fry leave and they, they're off on their own. Let's take a look at gizzard shad and largemouth bass. They both also make their homes in Texas's large reservoirs. Gizzard shad feed mostly by grazing on microscopic plants and animals called plankton. And if necessary, though, they can also eat some very small aquatic invertebrates. On the other hand, a large amount of bass hunts and eats other fish and crayfish. However, when the bass are very young, very small, they too seek plankton and small aquatic insect larvae. These two fish species live in the same reservoirs, but they eat different things. They don't really compete for the same food except for a very short period of time when bass are very young, very small. But at that point, there's sufficient food resource for both species to survive over time because the bass and the shad really do occupy different niches in the same environment by eating different foods for the large part of, of their existence. Largemouth bass and gizzard shad also have very different places and ways to breed. Largemouth bass spawning begins in the spring when water temperatures reach about six degrees Fahrenheit. Depending on location in Texas, this can be as early as February or as late as May. Male bass build a circular nest about twice as far across as the bass is long. The nests are usually in water about two to eight feet deep. Once a female largemouth bass lays its eggs in the nest, and that's going to be between 2,000 and, and over 40,000 eggs, each, for each female. She's then chased away by the male, who then guards the eggs. The eggs, uh, these hatch in about five to 10 days, depending on water temperature. The newly hatched fish are called fry. The fry remain in a group or school near the nest and under the male's watch for several days after hatching before they swim off on their own. Now gizzard shad also spawn in shallow water in spring when water temperature reaches about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but that's, that's about where the similarity with bass ends. To reproduce, gizzard shad males and females school together. They release milt and eggs simultaneously near the surface where the eggs are fertilized. Once fertilized, these eggs become sticky. The eggs are carried away by water currents and uh, they slowly sink to the bottom where they adhere to underwater objects as they fall. A single female can release as many as 400,000 eggs. These hatch in about four days. Immediately after being hatched, the fry form schools and swim off. Gizzard shad don't have any nests. I mean, there's no parental involvement. Thus, the shad and the bass occupy different niches of the environment and how they reproduce, living in the same place, but occupying very different niches. As the young gizzard shad hatch and mature, they become food for the young largemouth bass once, they, once, the, once the bass switch from plankton to a fish diet. Now it's the same story for other species where largemouth bass and gizzard shad lived. Different species may have similar 
or even overlapping habitats, that no two species usually can occupy exactly the same niche in the same community for very long without competition adversely affecting one or the other.